guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are going to be testing and reviewing the brand new Fenty skin. Now people have just been going absolutely mental about Rihanna's new skincare line. Obviously we are all familiar with Fenty Beauty and let's be real, we all love, live for, breathe for, die for Fenty Beauty. And um, they've got some really, really incredible products. They're a very inclusive line, just amazing. Rihanna, I mean herself, Actually, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but was it like two years ago? She actually came to Australia, did like a Fenty Beauty event here. I was at the event and I was literally like seven meters away from her. <laughs> I'm basically now considered royalty. <laughs> no, but can I just be real? Like she is stunning. She looks even more beautiful in person. Like, oh, and let's be real, also her skin is absolutely phenomenal. So that makes me even more excited to try her skincare line. Now, obviously this has been, you know, she's very, very involved in the creative process and, you know, the development and, you know, the formulating of all of the products and stuff. So uh, this officially has Rihanna's stamp of approval. Um, very beautiful. Can I just say that this stuff is really, really pretty looking? Here we have the little PR package. So obviously this was sent to me, uh, but this is not sponsored at all and obviously all opinions are my own now there are three products in the lineup we have a cleanser we have a toner serum Ooh, love that it's like a two-in-one and then we also have a moisturizer and SPF so basically what I'm gonna be doing and obviously being that it's skincare you can't take it from face value you can't try a skincare product once and say absolutely right or die I swear on my life I love this so I'm gonna be showing you my honest first impressions I'm gonna be showing you you know the texture of the products how they work like the foam of the cleanser and everything give you my first impressions and then I'm going to continue testing it and update you guys on whether or not this works for oily skin I'll be able to give you a good idea of how my skin feels after it and I'll update down in the description bar on my thoughts uh, I'll be using it over the next few days because usually I do film at least a week in advance of the video going up so I will have had a good chance at testing these quite consistently by the time this actually goes live uh, so I'll be able to give you an update down in the comments or in the description bar but yeah basically let's test this out let's see if it's worth the hype if it's worth the money and if it's as good as everybody is saying like uh, I feel like the internet melted when Rihanna said she was coming out with skincare so very excited to get into it. Now, obviously, if you are new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you do not miss up on any of my new uploads. And let's jump into the video. All right, so everything in this line is themed with like this really pretty like pale purple. It's really, really nice. External packaging, this is what you're gonna be looking at. Like white and purple, um, beautiful, beautiful packaging. And then as far as the actual products go, this is what they look like. They're so pretty. I honestly, oh my gosh, it matches my nail polish. I literally did not even realize until I'm just looking in the mirror. <laughs> that was a total fluke. As far as aesthetically pleasing, it ticks all the boxes. It is very, very pretty. This is going to look gorgeous on your vanity, gorgeous in your shower, gorgeous on the shelf in your bathroom. It's very, very pretty to look at. They all feel quite sturdy. They feel quite heavy. They do feel like really quite nice luxury, you know, ish kind of products. Now, as far as the actual products go and what we've got as part of this line, and I will be talking about the ingredients a little bit as we're sort of testing them and using them. But first up, you have the Total Cleanser. Total cleanser and it's a remove it all cleanser. This one's supposed to double as a you know makeup remover and also as a skin cleanser. Interested to see how that goes. You guys know I'm a huge fan of double cleansing. I pretty much I, I mean I there's not a day that goes by that I don't double cleanse, but I think we should put a little bit of foundation on or something and actually see how well this gets it off the skin. Uh, one thing I am noticing about this, and I will quickly just say too, you get 145 ml of product in this one, and the price of this is $25. Now I will quickly just say also, you guys, uh, Fenty Skin is only available currently exclusively on the Fenty Skin website. It's not yet available at Sephora. Now, being in mind that the moisturizer is an SBF product, I don't know when or if this is going to be available at Sephora in Australia. If you guys don't know, sunscreen and SPF products here in Australia, um, it's pretty hard to get them to the standard or the level that our TGA requires for it to be used and sold here in Australia. Um, if you didn't know already, obviously because we're down so far, you know, so far below the equator, the ozone thinner, and as a result, the UV rays are much stronger and much harsher, both here in Australia and in New Zealand. So we do have much stricter SPF requirements. And normally brands need to entirely reformulate, like it's not even just SPF, like in, entirely reformulate products to get it past 
the super strict rules to be able to sell skincare in Australia. So I am not sure if or when uh, this will be available at Sephora. In Australia, like I said, they will need to reformulate it with a different SPF ingredient. I imagine that they're going to have to uh, increase the SPF of this. I'm not 100% sure, but like I said, exclusively available on the Fenty Skin website. Now back to the cleanser, like I said, 145 mil, uh, 25 US dollars, actually quite well priced for products that are going to be in Sephora or quite well priced for that sort of department store kind of skincare. Yeah, I mean, obviously if it's a good product, if it's $25 for something that's just horrible, totally different story. But I think $25 is quite affordable for like Sephora level sort of skincare. Uh, one thing that is cool about this is the top of it, like it's not like a screw cap that you actually remove see that there you actually turn it you twist it up the the lid like moves up and moves out and then you just squeeze the product out I love the way that this dispenses I think it's really really cool it's really handy much better than having to take the lid off like if you're using it in the shower and then you drop the lid and just and you fall over like no it's a really really good like product design sort of feature next up we have the fat water uh, this is their pore refining toner serum this sounds really, really interesting. Like I said, it's a toner and a serum all in one. So rather than having to do those two steps separately, so, you know, use your toner and then apply your serum before your moisturizer. The idea of this is it's a two in one. So really, really excited to try it. It's definitely like, it does look like fat water. It's much thicker than a toner, but perhaps not as thick as a serum. It's like right in the middle. So I'm um, interested to try this. You get 150 ml of product in this one and the price is 28 USD. So that's what we are looking at there. And then last but not least, the moisturizer. Now they call this what do they call this? So this is the Hydrovisor and this is their Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. So 50 mil of product in this one. Packaging of this is pretty damn cool. Um, the inside component, you twist up the bottom and then the little pump pops out the top. Now this internal canister is actually completely removable and the idea is that you retain, like they sell refills of this inner one and you retain the outer packaging and just replace the insert as you need. So it produces less waste and then the actual uh, little insert bit on the inside is actually recyclable. So I do really like that idea. I like that they've taken the environment into consideration. Um, pretty cool packaging and like it gets a little bit addictive to go like this all the time. <laughs> and I mean packaging like it just feels good. It feels heavy. It's beautiful to look at. It kind of looks like one of those little Beats pills. I don't know why I keep thinking that but I'm like does it play music because it kind of looks like it should. And this one you do get 50 mil of product to buy the whole thing as one which comes in this sort of larger box is 35 US dollars. And then to buy the refill alone is 30 US dollars. So yeah, that's a bit of an overview of all of the products. What we're going to do now is jump into actually using them. And we're going to have a really close look at the ingredient decks. And, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to see how they go. See what we think. All right. So first up, we're going to try the cleanser on my skin. Now, like I said, I do think it'll be a good idea to actually put a little bit of foundation on. I am just curious to see, you know, how much of it it will get off the skin. And if it's actually, you know, really even effective. Oh, <laughs> I put on the total wrong color as well. Love that. All right. But we've got a good bit of foundation on there. Now Fenty says makeup wipes cancelled. It's a two-in-one cleanser and makeup remover. As I said it's going to remove dirt, oil, long wear makeup and do all of that without stripping or drying the skin. I actually really like you guys know and I talk about this all the time being an oily skin type it's so important and I think people don't really realize but it's so important that you are not using products that are stripping moisture out of your skin. Don't do it. It causes your skin to produce more oil and it basically will set you back light years. Like you are just going to be way oilier. You're going to have more issues with enlarged pores. You're going to have more issues with breakouts. We need to be choosing products that do not strip the oil out of the skin. So that's enough of that spiel. Apparently this transforms from a cream to a lather, uh, purifies pores. It's got antioxidants in it. Smells like cherries and coconut. Okay. So it must have a fair bit must have a fair bit of fragrance in it. Ooh, some really interesting ingredients in this one. Barbados cherry. Uh, it's actually really high in vitamin C, essentially. Ginkgo biloba. Um, that's for like controlling oil production and clarifying the skin. Green tea, obviously, helps guard against environmental stresses. Helps with, you know, like if you've got sensitivities in the skin, it helps reduce redness in the skin. It's got fig, which is loaded with antioxidants. And quince, which is a rare fruit. Think apple meets pear. All I know is quince paste, like you have them on like cheese boards. <laughs> That's infused with minerals to deeply condition. Now it's an oil-free formula, apparently non-comedogenic, so it's not going to clog your pores and cause blackheads and breakouts. Are clean, vegan, gluten-free. So let's get this on the face. Now they want me to wet the skin, lather, rinse and pat dry. Now I've got this little face halo here to just sort of moisten the skin a little bit. I hate that word, moisten. 
Oh, all right, Pam, we're moist. <laughs> now let's get this out. Like I said, it's really cool how it comes out the end of this little thing. Um, just it's I like the way it dispenses. Okay. Now formula wise of this one, it is quite a thick formula. It's a really pretty pink kind of a color. Um, it's quite thick and sort of like, I don't know, stringy kind of, but let's get this almost go and see what happens. Oh, okay. So that fragrance is quite strong. Um, I'm certainly going to say if you're somebody that doesn't enjoy, you know, fragrance in your skincare products, I'm not, oh, like, I'm not sure you're going to, I personally don't mind. Oh, it's, you can definitely smell cherry. It is, it is quite strong. I'm personally not like hundred percent opposed to fragrances, but the thing to consider and the thing to remember is fragrance can be an irritant. So if you're someone who's got really sensitive skin and you react to fragrances, just bear that in mind with this line because I mean, without even touching my face, I can smell it. It is, it is quite an intense, I mean, it smells yummy, but it is intense. So it's lathering up quite nicely. It's certainly lathering up a lot more on this side where I haven't got that foundation on. But at the same time, I can see on this side that it is sort of dissolving that, definitely shifting it around. Now, as far as the actual formula, it feels quite thick. It feels... It feels like quite luxurious to be honest like it feels like more of like a cream cleanser as opposed to you know like a stripping foam kind of a cleanser it does feel very luxurious on the skin i feel like maybe it's tingling just a little on the skin i wonder if it's got like phas or something in it um there's definitely like a slight tingle i don't personally have sensitive skin at all um my skin basically doesn't react to well it doesn't react to much at all if i'm being honest and when you stop rubbing it 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 kind of like goes back to being like a sticky moisturizer so i'm gonna quickly go rinse this off and we will see if the foundation's gone and we'll see what my skin feels like all right so i have rinsed that cleanser off and i do have to say my skin does feel incredibly soft like it definitely feels soft and silky to the touch but it does feel tight so if you're after um like, I mean, it doesn't feel stripped, but my skin does feel tight. So it does feel really, really clean. It's not like squeaky clean, like it's had the life sucked out of it, but my skin at the minute does feel quite dry. So that's just my thoughts on that one. Um, definitely got all of that foundation off. I no issues whatsoever there. And it definitely does feel very soft. So let's move on to step two, uh, which is the fat water. Such a cool concept. Really excited to try this. Okay, so this one instantly refines the look of pores. It reduces the look of dark spots, even skin tone, and fights shine without stripping skin. So use day and night. And the idea uh, being that it's a toner and a serum in one it's going to give you the benefits of the ph balancing like that a toner normally would it'll close the pores off minimize the look of those pores um, and then the treatment part of the serum i'm putting all the nourishment and you know moisture and stuff hopefully into the skin now the cool thing about this one is normally when you use a toner now i personally prefer spritz on toners i just think they're the absolute best uh, it's the easiest way to do it but most of the time you usually have to use a toner with a cotton pad or a bamboo pad or something so it's like an extra piece of equipment that you need um the texture of this one the thickness of this one being that it's a fat water the idea is that you just put it on your fingers and you apply it to your skin so no cotton pad is needed so really really love that Ooh, it's got niacinamide in it to help reduce the look of dark spots brighten the skin help with breakouts and things like that barbados cherry again the same as that previous one which is loaded with vitamin c australian lemon myrtle and witch hazel water to reduce oil and refine pores uh japanese raisin tree never heard of that one uh detoxifying that one's got detoxifying powder cactus flower to hydrate and green tea and fig for the antioxidant sort of properties of both of those obviously green tea is great for sensitive skin and normally you know when you're doing a skincare routine you can sort of like you know rubbing the skin can cause redness green tea is really really good at reducing redness and calming the skin so ingredients wise there are some really really nice things in this definitely a lot of hydration um certainly those are the kinds of ingredients that i'll be looking for in a serum and also in a toner so yeah excited to get this on my face basically again really cool packaging you just twist it up so simple and easy you don't have to remove the cap same as the cleanser but let's look at the actual texture of this now oh okay yeah it's kind of like oh it's gonna be really hard to say let me put it on the back of my hand it's definitely the texture of a serum as opposed to a toner now this one's supposed to smell like a sweet blend of cherry and sun-kissed fig it's nowhere near as strong in scent as the cleanser was, but 
you can definitely smell it. So it's going to give me better, brighter skin. It's going to reduce oil. It's going to instantly minimize my pores. Um, it's going to give me hydration, moisture and antioxidants while I am wearing it. So interesting texture. It's definitely, it feels more lightweight than a serum typically does. Definitely can attest to that. I feel like it's really melting into the skin. And honestly, the scent is way less intense than that cleanser was. So um, yeah, like I said with fragrances, it's quite an individualized thing. Some people obviously love it. And, you know, again, obviously Rihanna loves fragrances in her skincare. But there are certainly people out there that have sensitive skin that can't tolerate fragrances. All right, so that has dried down to a sticky kind of a feel. Now, if that stays tacky like that, we're going to be running into problems. Um, my oily skin, especially like when I'm looking at products like this and the, the angle that I'm coming from is can these products and can this skincare routine be used before I apply my makeup in the morning? Like you don't want to invest money in skincare and only be able to use it at night. Like, you know, because it's too heavy or too emollient or too thick for underneath makeup. Um, it'll be curious to see if it actually completely absorbs. I don't like stickiness, tackiness, greasiness left on the skin. And I do think this one is completely absorbing. Okay. Yeah, it has, guys. The stickiness is completely gone. Oh my gosh, Rihanna. Rihanna. <laughs> so very, very soft and light on the skin. I feel like it's given my skin a little bit of a glow, nothing too intense, and it's completely absorbed. So while I can feel like grippiness on my skin, there's not necessarily heaviness, greasiness, oiliness, or like a slick on top of the surface that's going to make me feel like my foundation's not going to last during the day. So um, that feels really, really nice. And I mean, so super cool that you don't need a cotton pad and so super cool that it's a two-in-one toner and serum. I like that one a lot. Now, moving on to step three is obviously the sunscreen. Now, this is called, again, I've forgotten again, I'm the worst. Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. Wow, that, that's a mouthful. Now, according to Fenty, this is a light as air hydration, invisible sun protection uh, moisturizer that defends and brightens the skin while reducing the look of pores. So on face value, that sounds absolutely incredible. This is a chemical sunscreen and they do say here on the website, uh, made with care for coral reefs, so it doesn't contain the particular ingredients that are damaging coral reefs as far as chemical sunscreens go. Now, one of the biggest issues that I know that can happen with sunscreen for starters is flashback under flash photography because usually they contain, you know, zinc oxide and things like that that flash back in flash photography um, we've all we've all seen what that looks like and we've probably all experienced it too uh, they say that it is flashback safe and also obviously being that Fenty is such an inclusive line and they cater to everybody of every skin tone and it's just amazing they say that this sunscreen is going to be truly invisible on every single skin tone which is amazing notoriously sunscreen on deep skins can leave a white cast if it's not you know the right chemical ingredients and the right well i mean certainly physical ones is really quite difficult to not get a white cast but chemical ones certain chemicals leave it certain chemicals don't um they're promising that this one is you know white cast free which i think is absolutely amazing and really really exciting to see now it's meant to be lightweight truly invisible like i said uh, it's going to help tackle dehydration, discoloration, dark spots, and it is makeup friendly. So it's not going to get any pilling. You know how when you put on a moisturizer sometimes and if you rub it, like you end up with little balls on your face. It's not going to do that. So it's safer underneath makeup and obviously no flashback and the refillable packaging too. Cool. Now this one's got some really cool ingredients. First up, I can see hyaluronic acid. You guys know how much I love hyaluronic acid. The most incredible chemical molecule honestly for skincare it's just amazing for hydration it really really hydrates the skin it basically pulls in moisture from the air into the skin love 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 it a nice cinnamide in it again like i said earlier for the toner it helps with you know clarifying the skin reducing dark spots evening skin tone things like that it's also got watermelon in it for the antioxidants and the vitamins that's pretty cool and also an ingredient called baya baya bulb Baobab, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, which is an African tree that bears nutrient rich superfruits to help hydrate the skin. Love, love, love. They also say it's oil free, non comedogenic, it's not going to clog those pores uh, for all skin types too. So, like I said, packaging is really cool again. I mean, how many times am I going to say that? It is cool. Let's check out the formula and let's see what it is like on the skin. So, from what I can tell, it does look like quite a thick kind of a formula. I'll spread it out on the back of my hand a little. 
this is what it looks like. So it's sort of like a thick-ish cream, maybe like a gel. Yeah, it's more of like a gel cream. Um, it's light pale pink in color. Oh, and it is very, very heavily fragranced again. So um, just, <laughs> I say this all the time with skincare. I personally don't hate fragrance in skincare, but a lot of people do. So if you're one, if you're one of those that hate it, it is like she is fragrance. Now let's see what this feels like on the skin. Now I am incredibly, incredibly, incredibly fussy when it comes to sunscreen uh, for my skin, uh, for underneath makeup, because a lot of the time they can just be it, like it can be hell basically. A lot of sunscreens leave quite a greasy residue on the skin. Um, my personal favorite is the Dermalogica Oil Free Matte. It's so thin and lightweight and it just really instantly absorbs, doesn't affect my foundation whatsoever. So I am curious to see how I feel about this one. Now on initial kind of first impression, it does feel a little bit greasy. It does feel a little bit like those sunscreens that I normally can't get away with because I am so oily. Um, certainly smoothing on the skin though, like it's certainly... Like it's given my skin like a really soft, sort of like a glowy appearance to it. Feels quite soft and glowy, um, but let's give it a little chance to settle in because on face value, um, it's it's too heavy for my personal preferences. Obviously, if you've got a dry skin type or normal skin type or even combo skin type, you're not going to be bothered as much by this kind of stuff. But I, like I said, I'm particularly fussy about sunscreens and moisturizers underneath foundation. I don't want anything that's going to make my foundation cake up separate get oily slide off my face transfer off my face like i basically don't want anything that's going to affect how long it lasts um and normally things that sit on top of the skin do now this is supposed to be like super lightweight i'll give it some time to settle i'll be back all right so i have given that one a good 15 20 minutes to really react with the skin and settle in and unfortunately it still feels quite heavy and quite sticky to me as an oily skin type i i couldn't like I, I can just imagine you know I put my foundation on and in two hours I'm gonna be really really quite greasy like when I actually press my hands against my face they they're sticking like they're actually sticking to the skin and for me um yeah I'm just not I'm just not personally a fan of that so I can't imagine um that I'm gonna I'm gonna be using this one so unfortunately this is probably the only product from the line that I personally as far as my preferences go um I'm a big fan of really that's such a damn shame because it really does say here light as air invisible plays well with makeup it absorbs instantly to smooth and soften the skin without looking or feeling greasy but it definitely does as part of this video as well i am going to be putting my foundation on the rest of my makeup on and i'm going to be wearing it all day and i will update you guys down below if i happen to notice like even though it's so sort of sticky if i happen to notice uh you know that it doesn't affect my foundation all that information will be down there but on face value i don't think i'm going to be able to use this product in particular but there you go guys the three products a bit of an overview like i said i'm going to continue testing these i'm going to let you guys know whether or not uh, you know, whether they cause me to break out, whether they cause rashes, skin irritations, uh, acne, blackheads, whether or not I find that they reduce or increase my oil production. By the time this video goes up, I will probably have been testing them for about a week, so I'll have a little bit more information. But I do hope that seeing the first impressions today uh, was helpful for you and answered some of the questions that maybe that you wanted answered. Now, as far as the actual products go, the cleanser, I do think it's nice. I wouldn't personally be running towards it. The new one by Tatcha, oh my goodness, literally would sell my soul for it. It is so incredible. I would be much more likely to use that one over the Fenty one. The toner, however, and the, the serum, toner serum, I actually really, really, really love this. I love the texture. I love the way that it absorbs. Definitely could see myself using this. And it really, like this was an invisible product, truly melted into the skin, did not leave any stickiness or tackiness or texture. So... Um, yeah, this is definitely easily my favorite out of everything. And like I said, unfortunately, the moisturizer, it's just a little bit greasy. It's a little bit heavy for my oily skin, but I'll continue testing and I will update you guys. But that is pretty much it. If you've got any questions at all, please, as always, pop them down in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, there is, have you got this skincare line even? Like I believe it launched a couple of days ago. So some of you may have already been receiving your order. I'd be really, really interested to know what you thought of it, how it went on your skin. And if you are interested in picking up any other products or if you've got any questions or requests or anything at all, pop it all down there. Like I said, I hope this helped. Uh, and yeah, 
I hope it helps you make better purchasing decisions. All right, guys, I love you all heaps and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.